Revenge Farts Ellie, I heard, uh, I heard you had a 40th birthday recently. I did. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you had a lot of adventures uh, in, in places like New York and Detroit and Mexico. There was a lot of flying involved, wasn't there? Was there was a lot of flying involved, yeah. yeah. That's what happens when j Rowe and El Keats of the Lolo go flying for a month on tour. Uh, Canada, New York, Detroit, Mexico in the last month. And, and we, um, well, you know, uh, we have something to admit, and that's probably if there was a title for most flatulent couple on the internet. <laughs> Just letting you know, uh, we take pride in our in our ass gas, and we've learned a special particular brand of farts that we didn't know even existed. It's the revenge fart. The revenge fart. And it's so funny, Jason actually came up with this because we were on an air a flight from Detroit to LA with, and we are not kidding, 25 roller derby girls behind us, and they were literally the most obnoxious group of girls like I can't even explain to you it was li it was literally like probably one of the most annoying things to have to fly with these women allow me to interpret the roller derby girls <laughs> oh my god you see Trisha oh my god like her boobs were hanging out and she had vodka like stuck all over. she smelled like vodka and cigarettes and barf I couldn't even oh my god <laughs> Trisha <laughs> oh my god all right all right so who's so who saw that movie who saw that movie oh, oh right, I hated play, that movie play. Oh my god, you okay. smell this? You smell me? Oh yeah, you oh, like that? So oh, it's so great, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're sick, bitch, yeah. Yeah, you're sick. Oh. For four hours, hours straight. straight. And the stewardess is ready to kill these women. Everyone is ready to kill. Like, oh my god, um, did they allow me with at least a plastic knife on the... On the I know. Kill I know. A bitch was, with a plastic knife. It was awful, and not that we have, we're hating on roller derby. Girls. Not at all. You're very sweet it was, people. It was just Great that elbows. literally this particular group of women were just like um, inconsiderate, challenging to everyone else on the flight. So before the flight, we did some, let's say, rather poor food combining. Mom, the chocolate cherry chunk ice cream you made earlier this month was very Amazing. delicious. On the plane, it had some um, de deleterious effects in the. In my gastral system. Schloch region, if you're a gentleman. So basically what was happening is mm. um, I was letting out like literally the most heinous gas, and I will admit it. It was so thick you could literally take a aforementioned plastic knife and cut holes in the gas cloud and peer through. And so with Jason, so I would just like, I couldn't even say that it was me because I was so horrified by it. And all these girls, you know, you have to know they're all sitting behind us. And so the one girl... Um, I, hear, I keep hearing, oh my God, someone get a toilet. I mean, come on. Oh, who is Walk it? Walk over to the toilet is it right you? now. Is it please. you, Tiffany? Jesus. Is it you, Oh, Brittany, God. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Glad you've got that? Godzilla's dead ass in your ass. Jesus. I mean, it's just like going on every single time. I'm freaking ripping him. And Jason just looks at me and he goes, revenge farts. Take that, you loud bitches. So by the way, it ended up being like a mutual. It was like coming from both of us. Oh yeah, because then like, see, because we find is like when one of us starts ripping, like machine gun style, like <laughs> then it like kind of instigates the other person's digestion. It's weird as Kind thing. of like a yawn. It's like, it's like our, our buttholes start talking to each other, like <laughs> I don't know if we want to, <laughs> okay, that's not. No, we're going to put that in. We can't say that. What, oh, uh, F-bomb? No, because he's oh, got to beep it out. Maybe instead of the beep now, when mm -hmm. swear words are on TV, they could go <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, oh, you mother beep. Oh, you mother beep. But yeah, Just it's a so revenge. NBC, but NBC. back to revenge farts. CBS. The thing is, the thing that's great about revenge Fox. farts, airplanes. It's I have to say, airplanes are amazing for farts <laughs> because nobody can hear where they're coming from. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's anonymity. It's you can anonymity. let you can like let the rip. most toxic cloud waft through the entire cabin, and no one ever knows. So this is J. Rowe and Ellie Keats encouraging you to uh, let explore, it rip on the airplane. Explore revenge farts and explore getting back at people through creative use of flatulence. Did we just say creative use of flatulence? Creative use of flatulence. I don't think, I don't think that's ever been said in the entire history of the world. I don't think so either. Creative use of flatulence. So leave us a comment below on creative uses for farts that you guys want to come up with and let us know on Transformation Nation how maybe we can more creatively use uh, our farting power. Okay, I think we're going to go now. Bye. Patrice.